Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for Facebook members share a February Bolo. I think on this one I put unexpected um, bread and butter or big money. So we are going to get started here. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. amazing, right? All right, let's get started. This is the post that I put in my Facebook group and I invited Facebook members to share in the comments a screenshot with the information of where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And now I am going to share it with you guys in video format. So if you're not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, definitely go join. Join in and I will share your bolo in a video if you share under this post. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, I have tons of bolo content on my channel, so be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. That will alert you when I post new videos. Now, if you do share on this post, you will be completely anonymous unless you are a Bolo Buddies YouTube member. What that means is you have signed up for perks and those perks get you shout out in videos like this. So if you want to join memberships, there's a link down in the description of the video. If not, no worries. My channel is completely free. The memberships are for perks. Let's get started with these bolos. All right. I got this item in a box full of junk smalls at an estate sale last day during the last couple of hours of a three-day sale. I paid about 50 cents for it. Took a best offer of $21.99 plus shipping. It sold within a week of listing. Vintage 1950s, 60s, Disney Princess Cinderella plastic figurine made in Hong Kong. Probably a no-brainer for most of you seasoned resellers, but just in case you didn't already know, picked up this 1993 Lightbrite for $2 at a Goodwill, sold for a best offer of $95 within three days. Probably could have waited and got my asking price of $125. Yep. And if you find just the sheets that are unused, you can also sell those. Free to me as my dad has been in martial arts for decades. He has a ton of OOP books he no longer wants. I've sold about $300 in martial arts books over the last year. This one sold for $55.99 and the buyer paid shipping and it says Dim Mac Death Point Striking. So it's a paperback book. I purchased a GameCube bundle at an estate sale for $150. I ended up with 11 total listings, so it worked out to be about $13.63 per item or per listing. This was the primo sale from the lot, listed on eBay and Mercari for $299. I accepted a $275 offer on Mercari after five days. Seven days after buying that lot, everything has sold except one game. My sales so far for this purchase are $850. So 700 profit before taxes and fees. It's a Nintendo GameCube Fire Emblem Path of Radiance Complete. How cool is that? So 275 on Mercari. Um, toys, stuff like that, they do really, really good on Mercari. If you're not selling on Mercari, um, if you decide you want to try it, there is a link down below. And if you sign up using that link, you will get a coupon when you sign up and a coupon when you sell $100 worth of stuff and then they give me a coupon. But what I do is I start my items on eBay and then I will cross post them with a um, extension, a cross posting extension so I can do it in bulk. So I start on, on eBay and I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. So that is how I do it. Do it. I use list perfectly. Um, if you decide you want to try it, uh, there is a link down in the description that it's a video, like a how-to video, how I do it. And you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. Okay, 25 cents at a thrift store sold for $434.99. What? Also picked up Gremlins 2 sealed for 25 cents and sold for 70. So you guys, it's the Gremlins VHS from 1985, new sealed. Some VHS are going for crazy money, you guys. Awesome. Salvation Army pickup for four bucks. 1990s graphic t-shirts in many categories are hot right now. This is a Looney Tunes tee sold for 50 bucks plus shipping. Some Cabbage Patch Kids sell high. Don't buy them all though. Most won't go for much if they sell at all. 
This is a CPK, Cabbage Patch Kids, BBB. I don't know what BBB is. Babies from 1985. It has, oh, it has a bean butt bottom. BBB. Ha, we call them. Purchased for $5 at a thrift store. I was hoping to get more, but I wanted it gone. So there you go, you guys. Bean butt bottom. How cool is that? Um, this comes from eBay store Dare to Dream Big 1313, I think it is. I'm going from memory here. And she is a Bolo Buddies member. So definitely check out her eBay store. Here's another one from her. I love vintage baby items. Got this zip a quilt at a church thrift shop for $3 and sold it for $67.15. Uh, again, I don't know what a zip a quilt is. It says vintage three in one zip a quilt baby bunting comforter utility bag. Huh. Pretty cool. Bought for $3.89 at the Goodwill. It is a vintage Ronald McDonald needlepoint. It looks like, um, I don't know if it's complete or if it's new old stock. I can't tell from the photo, but this is what it looks like. And it sold for $100 and the buyer paid shipping. I bought this vintage Fendi bag at a Goodwill for $6.99. I took an offer of $150 and the buyer paid shipping. So it is a huge, big duffel bag. And this is what it looks like. Can't believe they found that at the Goodwill. Wow. So I picked up like six of these for a buck a piece, sold two that didn't have damage for $24.99 and sold this one on an offer for $15. Um, it's from Buffalo, I think that's Montana, and went to someone in Buffalo, Montana. And it's an Autoscope drive-in glass advertising. It's just an ashtray, uh, but it sold for $15 plus shipping. These two toys were in a grab bag full of toys that I bought from my local thrift store for $4.91. I sold both in less than two weeks after listing them for asking price and the buyers paid shipping. So I'm gonna have to zoom in here, which means get really close. The first one is a vintage Buddy L Shark Show aquarium metal truck that sold for 65. And the second one is a Fun Dex peanut butter and jelly card game in a collectible tin lunchbox that sold for $25 plus shipping. Bought this for $1.99 at the Goodwill on Thursday. Sold it today for $75. It was a box that was taped shut. Didn't know what it was, but I'm a fan of boxed items at the thrift. <laughs> Pretty uh, sure all my highest percentage sales have been boxed items or items that come in a case. So I threw it in my cart. Found a relatively quiet corner to check the items. I gathered on the interweb. This was the winner so far. I picked up a lamp that might do better at the same store on the same day. So this is a vintage Tangle Richard X Zotics Chrome Abstract Knot Infinite Art Sculpture Structure. Or I'm sorry, Statue Sculpture. $75 plus shipping. Paid $4.80 at a church sale. Buyer bought all 16 plates eight lots of two plus one or i'm sorry plus i sent one extra shipped from tennessee to california 28 pound box usps sold for 199.60 plus shipping went to a party event center it's a two count dinner plate clear with metallic gold gilded rim so it looks like she um did these as individual listings of the set here and the person bought all eight paid 99 cents sold within a week brand new it goes for even more love comes softly 10th anniversary collection 10 disc dv set um never heard of this but it sold for 75 dollars plus shipping and that was pre-owned Purchase at the bins, paid approximately 25 cents or less. I sold it for full asking price of $69.99. It is a Fisher Price Cream Waffle Thermal Cozies Bear Plush Soft Toy from 1994. And paid 50 cents at a yard sale, had listed for about six weeks. It is a Paw Patrol Mighty Pups Super Paws Rocky Deluxe Vehicle by Spin Master. It sold for $49.99 plus shipping, and this is what it looks like. You guys, you can find Paw Patrol all the time. Not all of them go for $50, so that is a great find. 
I purchased this at the Goodwill for $4. Sold best offer for $140. I couldn't find the shirt anywhere, so I decided to price it high. It sold for $140, you guys. It's a Josie and the Pussycats Archie Comics shirt. All over print. All over print is a great keyword to put in your title. Buyer paid shipping on that. I got this at the Goodwill for 49 cents. It's an audio, it is audio cassette tapes. My sister and I were out thrifting. We are both resellers. She picked this up, set it down and walked away. I love this. I thought it looked interesting, so I threw it in my cart. I was shocked to see how much it was worth when I went to list it. The case had cracking and damage when I disclosed, which I disclosed in the listing. Sold for full asking price with the coupon I had running in my store at the time. And it took about three to four weeks to sell. Rare Jungle Jam and Friends, the radio show, Even Wilder Times, $179.99. Are you kidding me? That is so funny. Her sister had it and put it back down. I love that. New with, ta with tags, um, Alexandre Vathir, probably cho chewed that up a little, sorry. Dress, paid $24 to consignment, sold it in over a month a little over a month for $560. Wow. And that was sold on Poshmark. That is crazy. So somebody asked, why did it sell for such a great price? Um, she said, yes, it's lesser known, a lesser known designer. Original retail was $1,775, but that doesn't mean much for resale. It's been discontinued for a while. And then somebody put, did you know this designer offhand or did you look it up at the store trying to learn more about clothes myself? I hadn't heard of it, but the neck and hang tags look like Re Revolve or FWRD brand. A lot of them have a similar style. The fabric didn't feel especially nice, so it wasn't something I would have found if I hadn't looked at the tags. There, are, there was no retail price on the tag, so I looked it up and got lucky. Wow. So I wanted to include that information for those of you that are clothing resellers. I don't sell clothes. I don't know this brand, but um, for those of that you that do, you now have another be on the lookout. New with tags, Chantilly Maiden Form Vintage Panties. Helping friends sell items from her estate. So paid nothing, charged 30% commission. These are um, panties, new with tags, vintage panties. Sold for $75.99 buyer paid shipping, and that was an auction. 1990s McDonald's manager's uniform, new with tags, bought at a garage sale last summer for $1.50, listed for $110, and took a best offer of $90. Took about six months to sell. So it's a vintage 1990s McDonald's outfit. Bought for $20 at a yard sale and sold it for $110. It is a GameCube with remotes and games. And this is what it looks like. Love finding Vera Newman vintage items. They always sell and they sell fast. Picked this tablecloth up for like $3, had some stains, but still bought it. And here is what it looks like. Bought at an estate sale for 100 at 50% off day. Sold for full price in 12 minutes. 12 minutes, you guys. It is a vintage Chanel necklace, 1981 Gossens, oh, I can't see what that says. Gripoix, G-R-I-P-O-I-X, I think. It's really small, guys. Crystal, oh, I can't see. The, it's on, Um, this is what it looks like. And my eyes, even with my glasses, I'm having a hard time reading. It looks like it is gold plated. Sold it for $900. I bought two boxes of Fab laundry detergent from an estate sale last summer for 10 cents each. Listed the first one less than two weeks ago, sold it in under a week for the best offer of 25. Listed the second one less than a week ago and sold it for 30. Originally listed both for 35 each, happy with the return. So Fab is a very old vintage item. It's a fabric softener, you guys. And uh, let's see, Fab laundry detergent powder full strength fabric softener. So a lot of times like um, people will buy these for movie props and stuff like that. Paid $75, sold for $600 plus shipping. It is a Doctor Strange, The Search, Marvel Third Eye Blacklight, 1971. I think it's a poster, but if you put the blacklight on it, it probably, that's probably what that means. You guys, it sold for $600. Are you kidding me? Wow. 
I picked up this Pendleton sweater off the rack. They were just putting out at the Goodwill. I paid $4.50 and took a best offer of $165 with free shipping. Sold in nine days for $165. And it says Pendleton the Dude sweater. I don't know why it says the dude sweater, if that's just something they put in there, or if this is like a style of sweater. Somebody please fill me in about the dude sweater. Paid $7.04 at the Salvation Army and sold it for $100. It is a Juicy Couture pink velour purse, white embroidery shoulder bag tote, and this is what it looks like. Paid $75 at the thrift store, sold in under a week. It is a Charmed, the Complete Series Limited Deluxe DVD set. You guys, it sold for $400. Get out of here. That's a DVD set, you guys. Wow. There are always a fast, or wait, these are always a fast seller. Picked up for under 20, sell in a couple hours. Okay. Black & Decker Space Maker Toaster Oven, $89 is what it sold for. Um, yeah, any of the Space Maker stuff can be a bolo. Definitely always look those up. I got this Bratz playset at a local Forgotten Angels thrift store, a behind-the-counter item. Paid up for it at $50, but it sold for a full asking price of $199.99 in 45 days. It is a Bratz Funky Fashion Furniture, beauty, bed, doll, and playset. Paid 50 cents at a Goodwill. 1998 Sanford pencils. Lotted the colored ones. I have some yellow traditional ones set aside from the same purchase. A great bread and butter. They are pencils, you guys, and these sold for $24.99 with free shipping. We're going to stop here, and I am going to start working on part two. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so that you get alerts when I post new videos. I have a whole bunch of videos like this if you like these types of videos. I just did a plush one earlier. Facebook members share plush. And I also did Facebook members share, share their Vero's or things that they've been suspended for on eBay or had items taken down for a particular reason. So go look for those. Those are items not to be on the lookout for because you don't want you to get your account in trouble. So I have a three-part series coming on that as well. Thank you guys so much for sharing. If you're not in my Facebook group, definitely go join. Make sure you read the rules. Um, I think I now have what five, six, six moderators. Um, I have Chosen Goods Reseller. These are all YouTube channels, so go check them out. Chosen Goods Reseller, Philly Flipper, Be Carried Away, Mindful Recycle, and I just added um, Got Junk in Our Trunk and Franklin Hill Ventures. So they are helping me mod the group. So show them some love with a sub. Um, the group is almost up to 52,000 people. So at times the comments can be a little ugly and I really hate that part of the group. Um, it really is disturbing for me because you guys know I, I just, I'm not into, I like everybody to be nice. Um, so if you see a comment that isn't nice, please report that to the moderators. Um, we're doing the best we can, but thanks for coming over. Thank you for joining. And I look forward to seeing your bolos under these posts. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.